today we're going to be doing our wiring with string. <laughs> <laughs> because we're too chicken to deal with wire. <laughs> come to the conclusion that uh, wiring freaks us out a bit so we have decided to start our wiring with string we're going to string up all of our fuses uh, to the corresponding boxes so uh, everything as it should be and then test out in the van exactly how much space and length we need so we just need to double check before we commit to cutting our first ever copper wires um, that by the way are not that cheap so the brown is going to be our positive and our green here is going to be our negative all right so we've taken our string into the van so we can actually get a realistic idea of how long the cables need to be so we're going to pick the exact position where the, the batteries are going to be in the van and that will let us know how how long our cables need to be you know going to the starter battery and etc etc we did draw this digitally uh, because we did a few versions of, of, of this uh, rig and it didn't quite work out each time like there was always something that wasn't quite fitting or something would get snagged because this is also our couch right so this is our setup so far as you can see it is a hot mess of uh, boxes and string and some cable this is uh, um, a mock-up of the installation to do to help us get the depth uh, but it's going to be a full coat of um, insulation on the perimeter of the batteries and what we're going to do now is going to basically use these mock-ups so what we did was we did digital drawings um, of um, the mounting rig for the for the electrical system and this is what we came up with so this rig is going to hold the batteries in place and then these feet are going to be drilled into the floor and they're going to extend the, the full length of the batteries not these little mock-up ones and then what these ones are supposed to do so these are um, mounting mock-ups so what's going to happen with them is they're going to rest on here going to be uh, bolted into the, the legs there and that is going to come here in the name of saving weight, we're not going to build a full electrical box, we're just going to build the essential parts of it. Because originally we were going to build a whole uh, electrical box to, to support this, everything that nicely hidden inside. But first of all, that takes a lot of volume and then also a lot of material that is rather unnecessary. And given um, our recent mathematical uh, excursions into how much weight we have already added to the van versus how much we will add, uh, things are looking kind of um, edgy. So we're just building what we need, hence you see this corner here. So this is roughly the mock-up done, except the wiring is not connected properly. This is our DC to DC charger. Uh, it is the closest to the front of the van because just over DCs is our starter battery. Then we have our MPPT charger, which is connected to our solar panels. Uh, then we have our BMV shunt, which all of the charging sources will be connected to. And then including our, our fuse box or fuse boxes, because I'm pretty sure we're going to need two. Uh, and then the other side of the, the shunt is going to be connected to the negative. And then the only charger missing is that green box, which we'll show you at the end. That will go right here. Oh, and by the way, all of the products that you see here, including the batteries, the chargers, etc., uh, are in the description down below. So if you want to know what exactly they are, how much they are, then uh, go click the links in the description. So let's go and uh, see how all this wiring is going to work. No, don't fall the wall. No! Bye-bye, MPPP. First, we need to connect our chargers. Now, we know that the blue cable goes to ignition, which is why there's a goes to ignition. So when you turn the van on, it knows when to start charging the batteries from your van battery <laughs> so it doesn't drain it completely. The next ones, because we've got a lithium set up, the uh, orange and green, are they orange and green? Yes. They're orange and green. By the way, Sam's a bit colorblind, so you can actually tell the color <laughs> of these. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Fun fact! <laughs> Alright, so we have another wire that we're not using. This is the solar wire. Actually, this cable I designed to go behind here, which... Oh, sorry. So it kind of tucks behind. Then this is our positive. We've uh, stuck the, the ring on it already. Yeah, we haven't crimped it on. We've just no. literally put it on with tape. Because obviously we need to put a fuse in this. So any positive wire that you put on, on, on the battery needs to have a fuse. Now, obviously... This doesn't have the fuse in, this is just the case, but we did this so to count whether we have enough rings. So what we need to do is uh, just stick one this on here. Now it is really useful to be able to get your hands on the on these parts and, and actually line them up. 
and and see how, see how sequence the sequence works because when one hasn't done any wiring before, touching wires becomes rather of a, of a critical, terrifying moment in time. Yeah. Uh, this one, the red one, needs to go out to the starter battery. It also has a fuse. So this cable comes from the DC to DC. You put the ring on it, uh, and then you drag it all the way out to the starter battery where you have this fuse. So yeah. that goes uh, actually inside there. So that is the red wire that goes to the starter battery with a fuse uh, that away. And what's left of the DC to DC charger is the negative cable, this black one. So this one actually needs to head to the shunt. Yeah, so if you pass that down to me. So this is our shunt here and this is where all the loads are going. So essentially <laughs> that will go in there and be connected to the shunt like so. Okay, so now we have our MPPT and this is his positive cable. Uh, we have to extend it a little bit. So what's happening is the fuse goes on here. So you put the ring on here, you screw it back on. Again, you put the wire in here and you crimp it. You don't wrap it around anything. <laughs> this is just to go with the string. And then uh, you have the negative, which okay. annoyingly it's longer than the positive. So it actually needs to be trimmed. Yeah. So. There you go, that also goes out to the shunt. Yeah. yeah. So we've got the negative wire coming down into the shunt here and then just attach on one of the eyelets there. So we'll just trim that off. The next thing we should probably connect the MPPT to the uh, solar panels. Yeah, so here we have a negative uh, from the solar panels and a positive and they're going to head in that direction. So the negative there you go, Sam. Just stick it to the to the seat because it's not yeah. going to reach there. So that's from the solar panels. And then the positive also goes in the same direction, and we put... but it needs to have a fuse. So yeah, so basically uh, we've prepared an uh, in inline fuse, um, and you just press it in, and you close it up like that. Uh, and then obviously this connects to the wire, and we just tie it. <laughs> yep. Okay, yep, so that heads... Also from solar panels. Alright, and the last charger box is our mains shore box. Alright, so then we... There you go, Sam. There you go. Yeah, and that is going... Uh, this... In the corner. Right here in the corner, yeah? Uh, no, so turn it the other way. The cables then... So the red one. Pass the red one. Uh, Red one. All right, so the red one goes through the hole. It's very difficult to learn with cables. You spend about uh, two, two thirds of the time fighting with them. Okay, there you go. Okay, so essentially that will also need the fuse. So once you've attached that, I'm just going to tie the red cable up with itself because it's too long. Wiring diagrams look so much prettier. I know. The good thing about uh, this box design is that here on the side, on this side and on this side, we're going to have enough of a cavity to actually just tuck the wires down if there's any excess that we don't want to cut. Yeah. And that looks like hell. Don't worry, guys. That's why it's important to get your hands on it before you actually start cutting, you know, because then this mess starts making sense. Okay, then we have the negative from the mains charger, which, like the other ones, needs to go first to the shunt. So this negative cable comes from the mains charger and it goes down here. Like we'll loop it on on the actual shunt. Right, so now with the charging boxes sort of connected to the battery and sort of understandable-ish, by about 5%. Okay, the last thing to connect is the fuse box. So yeah, in the beginning we put the negative cable through and that came through the bottom. Okay, yep, so that gets uh, tied on. And to finish off the shunt, we need to connect our battery to this negative uh, portal. So we have our negative uh, cable slash string. We drag that out. Now this is very good that it is a short wire. By the way, we are wondering whether this cable needs to be rated for um, a higher ampage than the rest. So currently it's planning to be what a 16 mil because the current that passes through this bolt and this wire uh, is from all of the charging sources. So we don't know whether it needs to be a thicker cable. And then the final thing we've got to connect up is the positive for our fuse box to the battery. Now Along with having just a regular old fuse, we're also going to be installing a kill switch. So essentially we can turn this and that will kill all the power going to our DC circuits, which means if we need to work on anything in the van, that cuts all the power to everything in the van. So that's our positive. That's our fuse. This now needs to be wired. So this is our kill switch. On the back we've got two. So one gets mounted to 
one side. So the cable, the positive cable is going to come out here directly into this. To there, the other side. To the other side and then to the positive. Yeah. We're going to build a, a small kind of shelf here. Yeah, just for that to rest on so we can just reach in and turn it off when we need to. Voila. Our wiring is planned. Okay. Honestly, it does make more sense now. Very important what we need to do now, what about 50% of this was about, was we need to measure the, the cables. We need to know how much cable we need uh, in, to check whether we actually have bought enough. We've got ourselves a nice flexible tape measure so we can kind of contour around all the bends in the van. Because if we're going to use something like this, it's just going to be rigid and give us basically that measurement, which is not going to be helpful for wires. All right, so the first measurement we need is the DC to fuse. About 30. And then it says 7 centimeters on this one until the fuse. Yeah, 7. Uh, battery charger to fuse. That is about 37. 37. It was 50 before. About 27. 27. 27. Okay, so the cable that we don't have, so 17 and 60, 30, yep. 7, oh. yep. 18, yep. 15, yep. 27, yep. 7, yep. 35, yep. 20. 236 centimeters. We have 4 meters. We have 4 meters. We have 2 meters of red and 2 meters of black, so, and if that's the total, red and black. That means we have plenty. We have plenty. By the way, what we did wrong last time is we connected all the negatives from our power input sources to the battery rather than to our shunt. So thank you Phil from Geeky Phil for letting us know before we damage these. Well actually they wouldn't have damaged it, we just wouldn't have known how much power is coming in and out. So our calculations would have been wrong. I really recommend this if you're confused about wiring or, or you're a bit a bit scared about starting it, just start it off with cardboard and, and, and string and just get, get your hands on the boxes and start playing around. And it will certainly just start coming a bit a bit more into focus uh, as you go along. And actually, by the time you see this video, the chances are we will not have actually done this wiring for real. So if you happen to notice that we're doing something wrong or you think there's a better way for, for us to arrange something, then please let us know down in the comments below. Alright guys, so subscribe for the rest of this van conversion. We are doing more wiring stuff for the, the coming months and such. A bit of insulation is coming up. So yeah, stick around and uh, we'll see what we come up with. <laughs>